Hello! Welcome back to another episode, episode 2 of the Rosewood Legacy Gen 2 Sapphire Cliffs. I am like so excited because we're gonna get into uni today. We're gonna get into it almost right away. So right now we have Sasha. It is so dreary looking actually. Uh, we have Sasha in uh, her young adult form. I literally just aged her up. Um, and she aged up with the cheerful trait. I'm already getting into the deep stuff, you know, 45 seconds in. Getting into the deep stuff, but uh, <laughs> she can be a little bit down on the inside, but it, she's like cheerful to at least on the outside almost at all times. So I felt like that was something that would be kind of nice for her. Uh, and especially since she's going to be spending so much time with Leah, uh, Leah kind of brings out that cheerfulness in her as well. So it's just like really perfect in that way. Um, she aged up with the responsible good manners and compassionate bonus traits, uh, which I did not know she was going to age up with. So pleasant surprise. Uh, she also just had her first gynecology appointment and it went swell. Um, I have some bad news for people who watched the Rosewood Legacy prologue. Uh, Social Luna has passed away and I was so sad when I saw that, but I just wanted to say that. Okay, I got this earlier in my testing save and I wasn't sure what they were talking about because I didn't remember her having any of these traits. Um, apparently she's gifted and you can see that in the corner. I don't even know what that means. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, but it says with Sims with autism or who are gifted often have a special interest they like to focus on. So I, I don't know what this is. Uh, so obviously we know she likes books and I feel like that's the thing that stands out to me here most. A lot of people have more like specific special interests and it's a little bit annoying that you just have to pick one broad category that doesn't really... I mean some people obviously will have special interests that are these things but uh, like Sasha's, hers would probably be like fascination with the human mind, if that makes sense. Like she would be so interested in the way that the brain works and that would be her special interest. She would know everything about it. Okay, we're gonna go with books. Giftedness is a neurological difference with which affects each gifted sim differently. Gifted sims often excel at many skills, mostly logic and thinking, communication and language skills. Uh, and are creative and passionate about their pursuits, reaching milestones faster than others, enjoying solving problems and pursuing for further knowledge. Well, in many ways they can excel beyond their peers. They can either be both, both be fiercely independent or incredibly sensitive and often have trouble self-regulating. Talking, uh, talk and play therapy can be an effective form for gifted sims who are overwhelmed who have trouble self-regulating or have a strong feel, fear of failure. I'm not gonna get into it too much, but that actually really does fit for her. Okay, I'm going to try to apply to universities. And she's being attacked by bees. I knew it was going to happen eventually. And he's being attacked by bees. Griffin! She keeps going outside. Stop doing that. Okay. But. So, as I said before, Leah took a gap year. Uh, sorry. Sasha took a gap year. Leah did not. So, Leah has taken a year so far at school. She's made relationships. She's got friends. And she's really excited to introduce Sasha to them. Sasha has been keeping in contact, obviously. It's her absolute best friend who aged up with an unknown trait. I might have been there when she aged up, but I don't remember what that trait is. So I might want to check that. But I'm going to, because she's going to psychology, so she's going to need to distinguish her degree. And I want to make sure her logic skill is doing pretty good because that's pretty much the best way to get a distinguished degree in psychology. So... I'm gonna get her on that. Mama e papa. Mama e papa. This is our last time playing in their household, unfortunately. The horse is in the way. I can't click on Callie. <laughs> Offer her a rose. I wanna see this. Look at the way he looks at her. So cute. Okay, Sash, I'm gonna have you go downstairs and uh, take a look. Oh, take a look on the computer to. Check your application status. It might be ready by now. Ah, Griffin. He doesn't want his daughter to go to uni. I get it. I hate that going to uni means I'm leaving you, buddy, but I'll miss you. Oh! Oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so these are the distinguished degrees I believe that she can do, uh, which includes psychology. So, 
Fabulous. Uh, I don't think this is a menu I can click anything on. How do I... Okay, I can enroll in a university now. I'm cheating your knees, girly. I love you so much. The horse is our emotional support. Thank you, Sadie. Thank you, Sadie. But yes, we are going to Foxbury Institute. We are going to do the psychology degree. I'm so excited. I actually am going to do one class and one elective. That's what I'm doing for Leah as well. Uh, by the way, we are going to be playing her and Leah, and we're going to be moving into the drums. I built them myself. They're cute. So we have a couple different options here, uh, and none of them are really giving her to me yet. Well, she's still a little bit of a horse girly, right? She, she grew up a horse girly. She's still going to be a horse girly. None of these other ones are really giving her to me. So, so this is the dorms. It's very ugly from the outside when you look at it like this. Um, I promise it's not that ugly. Look at the regular one. That's uglier. Or at least I'm going to convince myself that it is. So there's 11 beds. Uh, I think I already have like 10 people in there. So that makes sense. Um... So we had a merit scholarship. I don't know what any of this means, I'm going to be completely honest, but we have our psychology degree class, we have our elective class, and we have our university housing. Uh, we can pay with household funds. Her parents are rich, rich. I don't know how they got that, but they're rich, rich. So oh, there we go. And now we are moving in with Leah, who is so pretty, by the way. I was just looking at her and I'm like, that's a pretty girly. Um, I think... Honestly, we don't need to take any money with us. I feel weird not taking any money, but like we're college students. We don't have much that we have to pay. It, well, except for tuition for like future. I don't even know what tuition means. What am I talking about? I'm not smart enough for this. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to bring over that much. Griffin and Callie won't miss it. I will miss them dearly. You can't see me, but I'm doing a little heart, little heart with my hands. And we're going to be going with 11k dollars. Let's go. Oh, I am so excited to show you around, show you the characters. I'm so excited. All right, we are here. Sasha is already dancing somehow in a random guy's room. This is not even one of our, our characters. I have a couple, I have like three people here who are not people I made. So I'm so excited to introduce you. I'm not 100% sure how to go about it. Obviously, hopefully, probably. Y'all know Leah. So I guess I will start with whoever I see when I go around. Okay, we're starting with Isaac. I should go in order of, I've, they all have numbers in my head. They have orders because everything has to have colors, orders, and like different features. They all have to have colors and orders, but anyway. This is Isaac. He's a little sad right now. Uh, he is the jock, as many know, and uh, he is rooming with Felix, who is somewhere. I'm not sure where Felix is. I like have known these characters for a really long time in my head, so like I'm very familiar with them. They're new to you though, so I apologize if I'm being annoying. I don't see Felix though. I might have to introduce you a different time. He might be at class or who knows, really? He could be anywhere. So do I have an upstairs? No, okay. I know what's ugly up here. I accidentally didn't save the progress I did on the roof, or at least that's what I'm going with, uh, the excuse I'm going with, so. Um, anyway, uh, and then the next room over from Isaac is a random stranger, and this room is vacant. This room is where Sasha's going to be staying. This is going to be Sasha's bed, so we're going to go ahead and assign this bed to Sasha. And then this is Leah's bed, obviously. Um, I believe, yeah, they're assigned. And then we have these two who are our other roomies. I did decide to make a big room with the four of them because I thought it would be cute. So this is Maylin. She looks pretty happy right now. That's not really normal for her, so I'm happy about that. And this is Ashlyn.
She doesn't really have any expression on her face. Sure, girly. Live your truth. Um, she doesn't really have any expression on her face right now, but she cute. She cute. Um, they share top and bottom bunk. Ashlyn is on the top and my girly Maylin is on the bottom. I like Maylin because she has a stuffed animal bear and I, that speaks to me. Um, Leah also has some, like, at least I thought she did have something. Also, somebody's, okay, somebody put a plant in a thing here. They do that sometimes. It's whatever. But yeah, that's this room. And then one room over, we have Rachel. So she is here. She does not look very happy right now, but you know, things happen. Uh, and yeah, she just is alone in a room. And then we have Derek. I don't know where his room is. Sorry, I don't know where he is. Um, and Leah does know him. So I could just look and see if he's on the lot that way. But I've decided not to do that because I'm not very smart. So um, it looks like nobody is really down here. There's somebody here. Oh, that's Derek. Okay, give me a sec. Oh, and Felix. Both Derek and Felix are here. Okay. The boys, except for Isaac. So I'm going to go with Felix first because he's standing in front. This is Felix. Oh my gosh, I am not good at these controls. Okay. I promise I've pl played this game for years. Oh, they both look they very look they both look puppy right now they look they're giving puppy dog eyes in different ways felix is in the front derek's in the back uh derek is the one with the double bed because he wants to um i'm not gonna finish that sentence so i think that's all of them who are in our little dorm Unless I'm completely forgetting somebody, which I could be because I'm not very smart. But yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you like it. I built everything myself. And yeah, out here is pretty much just an activity area um, for whatever they want to do. And yeah, there's not much else to say. So I guess we should start playing. And I think it's probably in our best interest to start by meeting our immediate roommates. Actually, actually... Before we even do that, we should talk to Leah because we haven't uh, been with her in a little while because this is, um, you know, we've been split up for a year. She's been doing, she's been off doing uni and I've been off uh, with my horses. So, uh, been to with old friend, yeah. And this is one of the random girlies. She's actually so cute. Like, I don't know where she came from. I don't know why she decided to live here because I didn't. I kept removing her and she just kept coming back, but she's cute. Like, I'll keep her. Whatever. I don't mind that much. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, these two are, you know, catching up. They're saying, hi, guys. Like, oh my gosh. It's so good to see you again. Oh, also, there's something really cute I want to show you. I put pictures of them up here. So we have all of the roomies in here. And then we have Rachel's on Rachel's wall. Uh, she also has a prize ribbon because she wins a lot of things. Uh, Derek's is here, and obviously, um, through this hallway is how you get to Felix and Isaac's room. Sorry, it took me a little bit. Uh, the pictures are so low quality. They're there, and then we have, last but not least, nobody else. Okay. I thought there were more people than that, but oh well. It's fun. <laughs> um, I keep, like, overestimating and underestimating how many people eight people is. Well, there's actually nine of us, counting Sasha and Leah. Sometimes I forget to count Leah because she was already, she's already our friend and she lives with us. And sometimes I forget to count Sasha because she's our heir. So there's nine of them. And I think it would be kind of cute uh, because we have to get our own picture up here on the board. So let's go ahead and take that picture. Maybe we can even take it with Leah. Leah can have two pictures up here. That's fine. Uh, no, I think I'll just take a selfie for now. Maybe we'll take a different picture and we'll put it on our nightstands. Oh, okay. I guess we are taking a picture with Leah. She didn't really give us much of a choice there. <laughs> she really just wanted to get in our picture. Jeez. 
Okay, we have just a normal picture of Sasha here too. <laughs> Leah really wanted to be part of that picture. She just put herself in it anyway. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now that we caught up with Leah, I think we should start talking to our, our roomies. Um, now, I don't know where they went. They were, okay, Maylin is over here. So we'll talk to her first. It's kind of cold outside. It's fall, so everybody's in their winter wear, which is fine. Uh, we'll do a plate introduction because, you know, that's who we are now. You don't like her. I forgot. First impressions is going to make this fun. Okay, anti-crush. Dang. That's kind of me. <laughs> no. Uh, is this, like, at first sight a thing? Because Sasha really doesn't like Maylin's overall vibe. Okay. Interesting. And Maylin has two good ones about Sasha. She's like, I can't get enough of this girl. I'm gonna have two. Fun to be around and imaginative. That's really cute. I... I don't know. I like... I like Maylin. I think you should do Sasha, but I'm a little biased. And where is Ashlyn? I feel like they always disappear when I want them, but... I don't know their schedules either, so they might just, like, be out somewhere when I'm looking for them. And I apologize, I know that there is, like, a pretty large amount of characters. There's a lot of them. But, um, I think over time everybody will be able to understand who's who. And also, nobody really looks the same. I feel like there aren't any uh, characters who really look the same. Yeah, I can't find Ashlyn right now, so I guess we're gonna have to meet her later. Um, okay. I'll say positive things about literally all of them, by the way. Like, all of these characters I like a lot, except for Derek. And I don't know what it is about him. Yes, I do. But I just don't like him very much. Yeah, he's just that kind of guy, you know? I don't know where she is, but uh, we're still talking to Malin, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, I don't know who's playing music, but I feel like it is going to get a little bit annoying if two people... Oh, wait! Ashlyn! 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 I don't know where she came from, but she's she's here. So let's do the play introduction once again. Where were you, girly? Oh, I love her jacket. It's so cute. Where are you going? I'm curious. I'm really nosy. I like l looking at all of them because I'm not playing any of them. So it's like so fun. Girl, I'm trying to say hi to you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and say hi to Ashlyn because she just woke up for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to, honestly, but she did. So that's pretty cool. Um, oh, never mind. Wait, where'd she go? Who just when I saw her? Okay, we're gonna say hi. Oh, cute. Okay, I love I love when they like each other. <laughs> oh, they both got wait, no, they didn't. How did you get a close from happy memories after literally saying one word? Crazy. First impression admirable. Okay. And first impression fun to be around and imaginative. That's exactly the same thing that Malin thought about her. Well, I guess Sasha's a consistent character then. <laughs> um well that's cool. You'd, you'd, their, their relationship isn't as high as Maitland's. I wonder if that's just because they haven't talked as much. But it's kind of cute that they gained a sentiment right away. And who's about favorite book series? I think Ashlyn's into books. I might be wrong, but I think she might be. Girl, wherever that music is coming from, I need it to turn down because it's distracting me a little bit. Okay, she's a geek, she's a genius, and she likes reading. Okay, right up our alley with that. Um, I really wish they would do this in the right room? Like, why are you doing it there? Oh, are you okay, Isaac? Okay. He was like running like crazy, but yeah, I guess everybody's- Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Food, food, food. Wait, I don't want to starve. Uh, so I should probably get some of this before I starve. Um, <laughs> because I'm, wor I'm worried because like, we can't make our own food. So we just have to like wait for people to bring us food. So that's why I, I, I I'm nervous. I want to eat food. Uh, maybe we can eat Derek. Or, Jesus Christ, why did I say that? Maybe we can meet Derek, um, since we're out here to play introduction. So she's just so cute in this outfit. Um, oh, girl, don't play the violin. You're gonna ruin the move. What if I deleted you? What if I deleted you? Okay, so we autonomously actually introduced ourselves to Rachel, and don't mind me, I just really don't want to hear the violin. <laughs> um, Rachel, ooh. Okay, Rachel's first version of Sasha is that she's in dreamland, which, not really? And first impression of Rachel is emotionally expressive, which I actually don't agree with. <laughs> I don't think that Rachel's a very emotionally expressive person, and I'm not saying that in a bad way, I'm just saying I don't think that's a right read. Um, I put three radios 
this is a radio, this is a radio, and there was a radio here. I put three radios next to each other. Oh, that's really stupid. Does somebody else want a radio? I'm gonna put this one in the bathroom, maybe. Somebody already grossed up the toilet, which is f fabulous. Um, Derek, you can have it. That is such an ugly color, Jesus Christ. Okay, so let's see. I, uh, we met all the girls and none of the guys, I don't think. Okay, well, we liked Malin the best, from what I can tell. And uh, Leah, Leah, uh, I think it's probably time to go to bed. So maybe instead of meeting the rest of them, we'll meet them tomorrow and we'll spend some time in our room with our new roommate, which is our, you know, long time best friend. So it's not like super new, but ooh, we should actually challenge Leah. I know I should be getting to know the other Sims, but uh, right now we're sticking in our comfort zone. What are you, you guys gonna play this? I also got a pool table. I got a pool table. Should I enter that? Because that's like a working, functioning pool table that somebody made, I believe it's by Utopia. Cute. I mean, not really, I'm just excited about it. It's kind of the perfect color anyway. But yeah, I still wanna play this because I'm bad at foosball. I've only played like three times in my life, but I mean, it was all at like church when I was 11, so. <laughs> I'm a little offended that Sasha didn't pick blue. Red is closer to pink. So y'all should have gone the other way, but whatever. Y'all better, you better win, Sash. Your bloodline depends on it. I love like watching them do autonomous things. It's so funny because Felix is doing nothing. That's a Sims autonomy for you. Also, did you just, Derek? Okay, he just stole the soccer ball from his friends, but. Well, friends is a strong word. I don't know if Derek has any friends. And I'm not saying that isn't nobody likes him. I'm saying that isn't he's a jerk. Which, I feel like I'm talking too much about him being a jerk, even though we haven't even met him, but I just really don't like him. I'm watching quite intently. I feel like this is going on too long. It's 1 a.m. I feel like we should be asleep. Also, I should turn on auto lights because, jeez, what's going into you, girl? What are you doing? You know, fair enough. This is like the least destructive thing you could do. Stop the trash that's already there. Uh, but I wonder what made her so angry. You know what? She's actually, uh, what's the trait? Um, high maintenance. That might be why. Are you all almost done? You didn't even, you weren't even keeping score, were you? Whatever. You know, we'll do that tomorrow. I feel like we should be too tired right now. Uh, I'm gonna make sure everybody is in their respective beds. Uh, nobody is in their respective beds. Cool. Cool. Okay, time to actually sleep. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Leah, I have literally done nothing with you and I feel really bad about it. Can you sleep in your bed? I hope so because I did not play test this build uh, at all. But you should be able to. And I've seen these beds be accessed and I've seen Rachel use hers. So I think that means they're all accessible because Derek is sleeping in his. Goody. Okay. I think everybody can reach their bed. Why? You peed yourself? Where? Where? I want to know. <laughs> I want to know so I can shame you. No, I just, I'm just curious, darling. I think somebody must have mopped it up. Maybe. Hmm. Well, she'll remember. She'll remember. <laughs> I'm not too worried about it. Um, but yeah, you can just take a shower. I don't know if these how accessible these showers are, but they're cute. And they remind me of the swimming lessons I took in kindergarten. So. <laughs> I kind of forgot that we have like school. Like I kind of forgot that we had school. Oh, so we do have class somewhat soon. Um, so these are the things that we have to do for, we have to take an exam for horse riding and we have to give a presentation for psychology, which I'm fine with. I really actually don't know where I'm gonna put this considering I cluttered, I cluttered this place up. Um, I'm sure there's somewhere I could, I could just put it like there. I think. That would probably not block anything. Get off her computer. That's Ashlyn's. We have until Friday to get this in, so maybe we should start? I'm not sure. Ah, that's okay. These two are the nerds. Uh, she's the scholar and he's the president, so they're nerds. <laughs> Sasha's a little bit of a nerd too, but. Leah, what are you doing? Why are you wearing that dress? I mean, it's stunning, but like it's just feels out of place, especially since it's winter outside and you are currently going outside. It's not actually winter, it's just cold and rainy uh, and fall, so. Leah has class? Oh. 
Well, I'm going to cheat that just because I haven't been playing her. So it's, like, not my fault that I didn't see that. And, oh, yeah, I was going to say she's mad about something. And it's because she has bulimia. And I don't know if I've mentioned that before. But, yeah, that's a very, uh, I, I don't know what the right word is. Sad, bad, unfortunate, um, I don't know what word to use, but. Yeah, it's just something that we're gonna have to work through with her. And I'm fine with that. This outfit's cute though. She's serving. I'm kinda lying though. It's not that cute. I like watermelon. Okay. It's quite interesting. Um Oh, this is graffiti? Somebody knitted those. That's actually like really thoughtful of them. Because like you know how long that takes to knit that much stuff? I don't know. That that feels Ooh, have a good first day. Uh, well, it's not her first day. It's technically her third. Uh, and it's also, you know, her second school year. Even though she has no credits done, we're going to ignore that. We're not going to think about that. Um, so we are going to actively listen. Or maybe we'll chat with students. Leah would chat with students, for sure. Okay. So she's class in six hours. So she should probably do the homework for it. Felix, I got your bed working. You're welcome, love. Speaking of Felix, is he... He's awake now, right? I just saw him. Ooh, she was good, but she wasn't the best, basically, is what that said. I'm struggling a little to read that, but uh, where is Felix? Because I know he's awake because I just saw him sleeping here and he's not sleeping there anymore. So I'm doing my master skills of deduction to say that means he isn't asleep because Sasha's in his bed, too. Uh, that, too. Um... Oh, he's literally sitting over here. Okay, let's meet him. He, his full name is actually Felix Alexander Gramlace, but I couldn't fit the full name, so uh, he only he had to get rid of one of his last names. Um, I just thought it was fun that he had a long last name, so. <laughs> but I have no idea who these people are. I don't even know if they all live here. I just think some of them are just leeching off of us. And I think this counts as two beds, so there might be, like, Somebody who technically sleeps with Derek, uh, which I'm sure he would love unless it was a man because he's probably homophobic. He's that kind of guy, as I've said multiple times before. So, so, he said that in a really cool way. So far, okay, so far it's confusing because her relationship is way, is the most up with Malin, but she got a bad impression from her. And uh, Rachel and Felix both got kind of low. They all have amazing compatibility with Sasha, which is really interesting. Um, Felix thinks Sasha is pretentious, and Sasha thinks Felix is imaginative. I don't think either of those things are particularly true. No offense to Felix. I don't think first impressions mean you're, like, getting the wrong first impression doesn't mean you're a bad person. Like, it just means you got the wrong first impression. They're both good people, I think. I think everybody in here is good people, really. Derek is okay. Honestly, I go too hard on him because I think it's funny, but... He's fine. In fact, let's meet him now. I'll show you he's not that bad. I believe I introduced all of the characters. Oh, Isaac is here. Hi, Isaac. I'd love to meet him as well. And I spent some juicy gossip about when. That's fitting. Actually, that's the first time I've actually thought it was justified. Well, other than the other day in my chromatic series where they were gossiping about Theo, who was a criminal and it did be dead for a while, so it's like, mm, mm, you can gossip. It's okay. Um... Can we talk to Isaac or no? Kalia! I don't really care. <laughs> Kalia is um, Leah's mom. Oh, cute! They like each other. So, uh, Sasha thinks that he's interesting, and Isaac thinks she's imaginative and fun to be around. See, a lot of people think that. I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. Um, you love serenading Rachel? You don't even have a romance bar. Actually, I take that back. He has a romance bar with every single girl. Except for, no, maybe? I think he does. Except for Sasha, obviously. But I think he has a romance part with all of them. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, Malin, Ashlyn, Rachel, and Leah. So, uh, Leah's is negative, though. I don't, yeah, look, it's in the negative. And I love that for him, but it's also a little bit of a red flag. <laughs> that is so funny, actually, that he's love serenading her. So funny. Oh, did Rachel just say hi to Sasha? That's really cute. Wait, are you playing pool with Isaac? I want to see this. Sorry, I know I was supposed to say hi to Derek, but... Felix, okay, Felix, you have a bed. 
you have a bed, buddy. I give you a bed. Okay, for some reason, everybody always has to really pee. Uh, do that, please, before you pee yourself, because that would be so embarrassing. Yeah, this is cool. I really don't want to break up the game, but I also really don't want her to pee herself in front of anybody, really. But Isaac is here, so. Okay, I would stop this just so that I can um, pee, because I really don't want her to pee herself. <laughs> um, um... Oh, okay. These are strangers, but I... I'm still intrigued. Um, <laughs> it's very funny to me. Count your days, buddy. Okay, where's Derek? Because I still want to say... Okay, can I wake him up? Is that weird? It definitely is weird, but I also don't care that much. Um, oh, Rachel's here. They might be going to class. I'm just standing here. Not sure why. Y'all have fun, though. Yeah, Sasha's stuck here, and I don't really know why. Sasha's angry. I don't know why. Infuriating secrets from whispering. Those secret whispers to Sasha made her quite angry. Did somebody tell you something that you didn't like? Did somebody whisper something to you? Isaac. I don't know why I'm blaming Isaac. Did, did you tell is, did Sasha's secret? I have no idea what this would that means. I've never seen it before. So it could be actually about that, or it could be about something else. And I just have no idea. What is that? You're on. <gasps> You're on Felix's computer, Derek. We're going to do a polite introduction like we did to everyone else. Even though we don't like him. That was a joke, kind of. Sure. Oh, they don't like each other. <gasps> they have bad competitive. She has amazing compatibility with literally all of them except for Derek. She has bad compatibility with him. Amazing compatibility. Amazing, 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 amazing. Interesting. Interesting. And yeah, she thinks he's unreliable and he thinks she's in dreamland. I love it. I love it. I love the hatred. I love how Sasha just knew. She knew. Uh... Yeah. Okay, we don't need to talk to him anymore. Why is your- Okay. The more she doesn't like somebody, the higher her relationship is when she first introduced herself. Because why is her relationship better than anybody else? Other than Leah, obviously. Even better than, like, Isaac. I don't know why I picked Isaac. Again, I keep picking on Isaac. I don't know why. How are you, Leah? Oh, not good. Sorry, girly. <laughs> um, oh, she's still twice over from her bulimia. Okay, well, you should probably change then. Probably appropriate to wear cold weather wear right now anyway. I don't want you peeing yourself again. She's gonna pass out before she gets there. I just know it. I'll cheat that too. Just for you. Who is wearing a dress? Are you pink? You're pink and you're stinking up the toilet! Marilyn has to pee. Okay, maybe I shouldn't bother her then. Uh, and Ashlyn's asleep, so I probably shouldn't bother her either. I want to bother my roommates. I want to talk to them. This girl has been sitting on the toilet. For so long. <laughs> I feel like everybody is constantly having just bad needs. And I feel like they don't need to do that. Like, they don't have to suffer. I don't know why they choose to. Oh, her relationship with Isaac just went down. What it, What just happened? Crusty memes from cringe sim memeing it up. <laughs> yeah, uh, Isaac is a cringe sim, so <laughs> that's uh, bound to happen. Oh, I thought you were the pink lady. Sorry. You can pee. I don't mind you peeing. The pink lady, she don't get to pee. In fact, where is she? Can I kick her out? Is she my roommate? Here she is. I really don't like her. Can I kick her out? Is that possible? Is she even a roommate? She's gotta be a roommate. I've She's here all the time. Uh, I can. Bye bye. I won't miss you at all. I'll choose a roommate. Olivia. Why did you leave? I'm adding her back. She's stuck with me. I'm never interacting with her ever, but, uh, because I just don't do that, but it's, um... Oh, I got a scholarship result. She won it. Cool. Oh, never mind, she didn't. I didn't even read it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, the vending machine is stuck. Okay. Oh, they're both stuck. Is that what that means? I don't know. Okay, we should really go to bed. I think it's time we wrap it up. I know that it hasn't been a very eventful episode, but I think it was fun. I do think it was fun. I think it was fun meeting everybody. And I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. I mean, I I did a lot. So yeah, I am just gonna say bye. Uh, next episode is going to be fun. 
we might like get together as a group, do something fun. Maybe we'll go up to the cliffs and we'll see where it goes from there. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts. Who's your favorite character? Any predictions? Um, how do you feel about their college life so far? Because I haven't played with uni in a while. What do you guys think about Discovery University? I have so many questions. Uh, really any thoughts at all? Is it a holiday right now? Harvest Fest? No, it's not. It literally was Harvest Fest my other save too, and I just didn't want it to be, so I quit it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I just don't want it to be. Boo-hoo. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week or on Tuesday, uh, which is also next week, but <laughs> for another episode of the Chromatic Legacy Challenge. Bye.